Should you take vitamins? Is it a waste of your money? Is it a waste of your time? A few days ago on my channel, I released an in-depth nutrition video and the question of vitamins came up. So should you take vitamins? Well, I guess you're gonna have to watch this video to find out. vitamins on a daily basis gets expensive and if you don't even have the food handled eating proper nutrition don't worry about vitamins and supplementation focus on the food first try to get all your vitamins and nutrients from food now if you have the finances and if you are you just want to do everything possible to make sure that all your micronutrients are met so that your energy is high your mental clarity is high you feel good then the next step is taking vitamins now B complex for energy, uh, D3. I can't really say that everything is for energy or it's for testosterone or recovery because micronutrients are all about keeping your hormones in balance. And when your hormones are out of balance in any way, it affects everything. It doesn't just affect one thing. It doesn't just affect your sleep or your recovery or your energy or your ability to build muscle or to burn fat. All of those things are related with each other. So. It's really important that you're trying to hit all your micronutrients, try to do it from food first, but the help of supplementation or vitamins can be beneficial to you. Hey, what's up? Are you still with me? These are just a few clips from that other video, but there's some good information in there. Stay with me all the way to the end of this video because I'm going to answer specifically, should you take vitamins? How often should you take vitamins? When should you take vitamins? And my top five vitamins that I personally take, but maybe you want to take as well. I bought one of these, like an old man, a sickly person who has to take 20 medications. Instead of going in the cupboard and popping this pill, then open this, pop this pill, open this, pop this pill, I just put them all in there, set it up for the week, and then when it's time to consume it, you also have to become, instead of doing one at a time, I've just learned to take them all back. Let's see. Just pop them all in there. Done, move on with your day. But based on my research, uh, B-complex, think about energy, D3, vitamin D3 for bone health, for, for so many things actually. It helps you with your sleep as well, it helps you with energy levels. Biotin for hair and nail growth. Kelp for iodine function to make sure your thyroid is functioning properly, which has a direct correlation to your testosterone. CoQ10 is for cardiovascular or health, heart, or heart health. Magnesium, glucosamine, and even zinc can focus on, or think about recovery, um, helping the muscles relax, re release inflammation, but zinc and magnesium also, and vitamin D are also very important for muscle building, testosterone, and metabolism. As I said, these other ones, not necessarily for soccer, this is more longevity thing. Ginseng is a good um, source of energy. However, if you could get it in a tea, is the way I prefer to consume it, but it might be more powerful in a supplementation form. Well, first of all, you should not be taking vitamins if your nutrition is not on point. Do not expect a vitamin to solve your problem or to make you healthier if you don't have the foundation of proper nutrition. So analyze your nutrition. Number two, I want you to analyze how you feel. If you think your nutrition is good, but you're still always tired, you're always lethargic, you feel lazy, you're not getting good sleep, maybe you're doing all the proper nutrition and all the exercise and you think your metabolism's out of whack because you're still not losing weight or you're still, it's impossible to gain muscle. Now you need to be honest with yourself. A lot of people say, oh, I'm doing everything, but really they're not. But if you honestly think that, well, maybe you need to look into vitamins. So let's say you are struggling with sleep. Do a search for vitamins related to sleep or which vitamins will help me sleep better, something like that. Do your own research and find out which vitamins are best for you. How often should you be taking vitamins? Well, in order for vitamins to work, you can't just take them once a week and expect them to have an effect. They need to get a consistent flow into the body. So you should be taking vitamins daily. Now, some vitamins 
will recommend, if you look on the back, they'll recommend that you take different dosages at different times. Personally, I don't really wanna be taking vitamins three times a day, so I just do them all at once. And certain vitamins absorb at different rates, so you can't take three pills at once, you can only take one at a time. So different vitamins require you to take them at different times, but you need to get them on a consistent basis, so at least once a day. When should you be taking vitamins? Well, I talked about it briefly in those other clips. It's best to take vitamins with a source of fat. So if you've had a high fat meal, and that doesn't mean unhealthy fats, that means healthy fats. Let's say you had a source of avocado, some olive oil, some coconut oil, some nuts, some seeds. That would be the best time to take your vitamins because it absorbs more efficiently into the body my top five vitamins that personally I take, but I think everyone should take a look at these vitamins. Number one, vitamin D. We are all not getting enough sunshine and vitamin D is important for so many different things as far as muscle development, your metabolism, your sleep, your bone health, all these different things. So vitamin D is number one. Zinc and magnesium for recovery, but also muscle growth, extremely important, a B complex. So B vitamins are very important for your energy levels, your immune function. Personally, B12 is one that I really focus on, but I get that from nutritional yeast or other fortified foods for vegans, for vegetarians. You really have to look at your B12 levels, also your iron, take a look at that. But for everyone, B vitamins are so important for your energy. And the fifth and final vitamin that I would recommend you look into is kelp but actually it's not the kelp kelp is seaweed it's the iodine from the kelp so it's an iodine supplement because iodine has a direct impact on your thyroid function which is related to your testosterone so if you feel like your testosterone is low if you're a male women also need to look into their testosterone levels very important for your energy for your muscle building for your overall well-being take a look at an iodine supplement